My guest today is Representative Lisa Meyer, and she's here to talk to us about some of the activities going on with the Interim Health Care Committee. Thanks, Kathy. I'm really happy to be here. Prescription drugs, of course, is the topic of choice today, and some discussion on a couple of pilot programs that Lisa can tell us a little bit more about. Thanks, Kathy. Yes, you're right. This afternoon, the committee will be considering a bill draft in the prescription drug price reference rate pilot program, which uses the price paid for certain drugs in Canada and establishes an upper reference rate payment limit for payers within the state. This pilot program upper payment limit would apply to the 25 most costly drugs um, utilized by the state PERS program, which is public employees retirement system. The thing that is really important is for the AARP audience, uh, this is something we've worked on for a long time, not only you know in the state as well as nationally. And it, it's nice to see that we actually are kind of moving the needle a little bit here you know, to get into this pilot program. I can't tell you how many people have talked to us about the prescription drug program and we're really excited about the potential for this. Yes, Kathy, it should be no surprise that when you look at all the brand name drugs, Canadian drug prices are about 30% higher than the United States and what we pay. And when you compare the 200 top selling brand name drugs in both countries, Canadian prices are 35% of what the United States pays. Lower prices mean savings for consumers. And because the pilot involves the PERS program, it's actually a savings for taxpayers too. So it's kind of a double benefit. But if it does move forward, it will really make a big impact on the lives of North Dakotans. What got you interested in this topic and what motivated you to move this bill for consideration? Well, Kathy, what really got me motivated is our constituents have been asking for years for lower prescriptive drug prices and to do something about it. And I really strongly feel that it's just really time to move forward with something. A broader bill was introduced last session. This bill is just a pilot program off that bill that I think we the legislative body should definitely consider passing. It'll take a piece of that broader piece of legislation from last session, just do a little pilot program. Um, it'll measure some data, most important, and best of all, it'll pass down savings to the consumer. Well, we're really looking forward to uh, working with you on this and keeping our AARP constituency and everybody else informed. So this is from the Capitol today with Lisa Meyer, uh, representative from District 32.